Hey, good morning. This is Johnny Sunshine. It's Friday, 1025. I was gonna take today off, but I got two easy calls, literally like within a mile of my house. So I'm gonna run out this morning, knock these guys out, knock this out, make a little bit of, little bit of coin. Let's see, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my shit hooked up here. Yeah, I'm gonna run over. I got a, a lady, she's a real good customer. I, she was it, worked at Bank of America for, I don't know, 20 fucking years ago. But uh, I've been working for her for a long time. She's got an issue with a cola toilet. Uh, it sounds like I'm just gonna put a lot of, put a new, uh, Flapper in while I'm there, you know the ring. It's gonna, it's got a uh, tower in it. Uh, I'm gonna hook her up, and then I'm gonna go over uh, about a mile from there. A lady called me. Uh, I introduced myself to her like two years ago. She was impressed with my truck, and I gave her a bunch of cards. And she called me today and said she's got a washing machine stoppage. So uh, hopefully it's just a Super V down the down the uh, drain. Uh, sometimes you have to go up on the roof. Those things, these older houses with cast iron under the slab, um, they collect uh, a lot of lint, and that's what backs them up. I try to tell you know I'll probably put a lint trap on for this lady uh, to, to keep it from happening in the future. But she said that her daughter. Uh, actually rips up towels to make rags and uh, unfortunately they uh, you know a lot of shit comes off a lot of thread lint and uh, that could be the cause of it and if it was small enough a piece it definitely get down go through that pump on the washing machine and clog it up so that's the plan today it's Friday the 9th of June man Wow 1027 I got to go Joe uh, yesterday was a an interesting day had a couple of jobs to do the one job with the uh, with the water service you know you you basically the way you, you have to do these jobs is you're limited to what you have on your truck you know there are a lot of a lot of comments about I should have done this and I should have done that. Well, that's great if I had that shit, you know, I would have done that. But I'm doing what I can with what I have on my truck, guys. I don't have every fucking fitting known to man on my truck. And those vent 90s and the, and the valves with vents on them or drains, we just don't use that shit down here, man. We're not draining systems down through a little piss hole in a valve. I don't like them anyways, to be honest with you. Very easy, people lose the caps, you're fucked. So, uh, yeah, we don't use that shit down here. I'm gonna try to get a hold of a couple of them, but it would have been easier if I just used the slip coupling and left it off at the top and uh, soldered all that stuff up on the bottom. But, you know, sometimes, Sometimes you do shit that's not the best, you know? You cause your own fucking problems. That's what happened yesterday. But, I will tell you, the more you do, the more chance you have of make, having a day like that. So, some people are the critic. I'll go back to that, that uh, Teddy Roosevelt speech. Some people in life are the critics. And others are the man in the fucking arena. So, that's what I have to say to you critics out there. Jump in the arena with the fucking tiger, you fuck. Ah! I gotta stop swearing. Just felt like getting that off my chest, though. Anyways, uh, it's gonna be a good weekend. I'm gonna try to uh, get some stuff done at my house. Did get my grass cut yesterday. It's looking good. My uh, my roommate, that old 
that old bastard's cleaning the hell out of my house, man. He's definitely OCD. Uh, cleaning up like a maniac. I mean, like, literally, like, I don't mean, it's just not normal how much he cleans, but, hey, if that's what he wants to do all fucking night, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I, I cook, and he make cleans the mess up. Good, uh, working out. My life has improved, man. My life has improved with this old guy. 83. He's out there, though, man. I don't know what the hell he's talking about when he talks to me. I just don't have any idea. And I told him the other night, I said, hey man, you're giving me a cramp in my brain. You need to just, I need some, you know, quiet time. <laughs> Anyways, all right guys, let me get to this job. I, I thought I was on the right street, but I'm not. All right guys, I'm here at this house with this cold toilet. Uh, it's got the tower. It only, this thing, this has only happened three times. I like the way they actually fixed that. Uh, this actually goes over a a little uh, fitting instead of going just pushing the hose inside because that was a real issue man with these things so I'm thinking this toilet it's this uh, this is very high like what what happens with these sometimes you got to be careful is it's working fine with the tank off I mean with the tank lid off but when this pops up all the way sometimes this will hit because it's filling like this and then it'll go up and then you put the lid on and it'll make the toilet run so the other thing that could be happening is uh, this sometimes these leak and they get full of water but I really don't see anything wrong with this toilet I think it may be the toilet paper um, and the ass cooker She's got this stuff down here, which is different than that. So, she's not real clear on what it's doing, but I can't see anything wrong here, man. It's a little high. I'm gonna lower the water level just a tad because it's right on the precipice. It's a good word. better that's about an eighth of an inch below the top of this Said she only she said it only happened four times, but I'm looking at this toilet paper and she's got a husband who's uh, sick 
if this stuff gets in there, it could be that the bowl is stopping up and it won't, you know, it's not flushing. The other thing is I always like to I mean, I, every opportunity I get, I like to stick my hand in people's toilets. It's like a, some sort of a weird thing I do. I know you guys love it, so that's why, really why I do it. There's a, a very little bit of up here I mean very very little bit but you always gotta check that see that scale I mean that's not what the issue is here I gotta make sure that there's water coming out of this tube up here because then that was not a good flush. So the trick is pull them out and you get more water in the bowl which I'm gonna do that's the that's the thing that makes this a more quiet toilet see so you can take this out this purple thing Going up all the way. You'll see now that there's more pressure coming. See that? A lot more water. Stricter, pull them out. What I'm going to do on this is just to make it be safe. I'm going to, when it stops filling, I'm actually going to cut this hose and slide it back on there. Because it went on kind of loose, see that? So I want to just trim that, get a nice tight connection on there. New one. There we go. See how that was all stretched out on the end? That would likely pop off. So, uh, that flush seems a lot better now. I don't think the bowl was refilling all the way. Sometimes you can put a pencil mark in it. See how high the bowl is filling. See the water ring around here? This thing's got about an inch to go. So if the water level in the bowl is low, you flush the toilet, half the water in the tank is going just to bring the water level in the bowl up. see that this is going to be a lot better flush. Uh, 
I'll show you the old trick that I, I learned a long time ago with toilets. You want to take some toilet paper, put it like that, and flush the toilet. <laughs> See, it's lazy. That should have went all the way down. Should have just pulled it right down. I'm gonna run the closet auger through this. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and run this closet auger through here. Yeah. Got high rise cam here. Medication. Mm. She needs to stick with this single ply. You can see right through it. I'll show you a little test. This is that, this shit. And this is what it does. It doesn't break down. Now this is this stuff. The difference between single ply and this stuff. Look at Single ply. Same thing. So much for that test. Single ply is definitely better. Well, it seemed to be better. At least it went down. It's an awfully quick flush, man.
probably 1.26 or 28 gallon toilet. Let's see it on here. No. I'm just gonna just have to hold the lever down, man. So let's do our little trick again. See if it goes. See it so fast. With the three and a half gallon flush, man, it would suck this thing right in. I don't know, man. Could be one of them things. You got a water saver toilet, but you got to flush twice, so you're not saving anything. I would tell her just hold the lever down. <laughs> One more test like that with the toilet paper with me holding the lever down and uh, see see what happens, see if it's able to have enough pull to actually get this toilet paper in. This is me holding the lever down. I think it's just the fact that it's not not a good flushing toilet because of the limited amount of water. I'd say that that a normal flush just hit the hit the lever for number number one. Uh, it'll go down and it'll be fine. Number two, you better hold the lever down until you see the sh stuff in the in the bowl disappear, and definitely stick to the single ply toilet paper. That's my advice. There's nothing in this toilet that needs to be replaced. So, it's going to be a wrap on this one. She's up. Uh, she was complaining about this, some odor in this uh, trap. And I've already been here like five times. She says she smells something, but I can't smell anything. It looks in there. All right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna tell her what's going on. She doesn't want to be on film. I told her she could be a star. Ma'am? Connie? Hey, can I, I want to tell you a couple of things. So what I noticed is for one thing is this toilet paper is different than that toilet paper. Oh yeah, that's that's one. That's only one. Single ply. ply. You need to be using this all the time. Yeah, he won't use it. That's two. That's the lowest. Right. So if you have to use this, all I can say is on a number two, when he when he, he goes to the bathroom, yeah. he needs you need to hold this lever down until you watch the waste leave the toilet. 
Okay. All right? All right. Because there's nothing in here that needs to be replaced. Uh, the lever, the, everything's tight, everything's working. Um, yeah, I did I, run, is he on medication that yes. makes his stools hard? Yes. Okay. I'm going to sell you the egg beater attachment, the Ginsu. That was a joke. Yeah, I am. Um, that was, you're not going well, yes, you will believe me. That was from COVID. Wow. You know, I got, you know, the thing because of right. no toilet Right, nobody paper. had toilet paper. And this thing, so, that toilet paper has, has so, got me more work. So the guy at the count, the cashier says, oh, you have a septic tank? And I said, no. Oh, he said, this is what you use for septic, if you have a septic tank. I said, no, this is what I use because there's nothing else. Right. But he, so that's when I learned that, I mean, it's not very good, but it's... The single plot? Yeah. Yeah, it's, the, you know, it's, it's good for syst for plumbing systems. Uh, unfortunately, that's it. There's, I can't find anything wrong with this toilet. I did run the closet over through there. Uh, to make sure that the passageway yeah. uh, was didn't have some stool left in it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, down at the bottom of this toilet, the water, the waste actually turns and goes straight across the floor and then down into the pipe. Okay. And that's a place where it normally stops oh, up. All right. Or you could get something stuck in there. So I cleaned it out the best I could, and I just recommend you use this as often as possible. And when you when you flush number two, watch this. I will, I'll show you this. Uh, may, may I interrupt? Sure. Like it's not very good. So so if he used more of the one ply, does that equal? Not if you flush in between. Sometimes he's going to have to, you know. Just flush. See, I yeah. flush and then I wipe. Right, and then you flush again. No. See, that's what you, yeah. He's going to have to do it twice. All right. Yeah. All right. Unfortunate. Okay. But look at his, his, I want to show you something. Okay. This is, this is a normal flush, okay? I'm going to put this toilet paper in here with the single ply. And you'll see what happens because this toilet is only 1.28 gallons per, per flush. So watch what happens. <laughs> See? Yes. It's a very weak flush. Now watch what happens. I'll do the same test once it fills up. And it's basically just using more water by holding the lever down. And you'll see what I'm saying. Oh geez, I didn't know. I mean that was and that's another thing. That was during COVID. I mean, we didn't have much of a choice. I didn't read anything. I just needed a new toilet. Yeah. Who put it in for you? Oh, please. Um, J and J. J and J plumbing? Yes. Yeah, I know them Never. guys. Watch this. Never. Watch that. This is holding the lever down. See how much better it flushed? Oh, for heaven's sake. All right, I got a scoop. I've got a lady with a stopped up drain, so. Okay. I got. I've got to get my stuff and get out of here. Okay. I checked your shower drain. I don't smell anything. You don't smell well. I don't smell well. So when I smell, I wonder. Do you know what I mean? I don't smell well. So, so when if you I smell, smell something, something it, I figure it's bad. Like yeah, you know, it could be. It could be uh, that periodically this drain stops up because of that toilet paper. You know what I mean? Okay. And, and you could get some smell from that. Right. Uh, so I honestly, my, my thing is, don't use that, that real, because right. you've got cast iron under the slab, unfortunately. Yeah. What year was this house built? Like 82? 81. 81. Yep. It's got cast iron, unfortunately. So, all right, I've got a scoop. Uh, it's going to be 800 bucks due to inflation and the price of gas. Oh. Alright guys, so I'm done with that first uh, service call. I, I, I like the clear cut service calls, you know. 
it's obvious what's broken. Um, this, I believe, is a combination of a, a shitty toilet, uh, not using much water, um, the, the fact that that's the toilet that the guy uses, um, he's on, on medication, he's very sick, I just went and talked to him, and, uh, nice guy, but he's on, uh, medication that makes his stools hard, and, um, you know, sometimes there's no, you know, without getting a stool sample, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, anyways, I'm on to the next one, man. I told her she just lives a block from my house. Look at this guy. My man. Red Sox Patriots. Oh, yeah. Tom Brady's back with the Patriots, boys. Yes, sir. Yes, he is. This is probably this lady. You forgot something. Phillips Plumbing, this John speaking. Yes, ma'am, I'm I'm all set. I don't I don't need anything. I don't mean to cut you off, so have a great day. Have a great weekend. She hung up on me. Ah! Wow. Angie's leads. I don't need any leads. I need somebody to answer the phone and say, we're not working today. Eh. That's probably what happened why that other company, I know the company who put that toilet in, and it was probably one of those times when I wasn't working for a little while, taking some time off, you know? And uh, she said it was during COVID, but I know them guys. Unfortunately, she's got a lazy flushing toilet, man, with a guy with a poop problem. Anyways, that's it. We're moving on. Hey, this is uh, this is Rick DeSantis's new Florida idle equipment. The Mexicanos, the guys who do all the work. Yeah, they're gone. I've seen these uh, these people who signed that bill into law down here. Now they're on the internet begging these guys to come back, man. But they won't. They won't. Uh, you know, withdraw that bill. They said, "Don't worry about it. It just it doesn't have any teeth." Playing games, man, with people's lives. It's terrible. They're, they're terrible people. That's all I can say. Hey guys, when I was out riding my bike this morning, taking the dogs for a run, uh, in Sarasota here at our airport, Sarasota uh, International Airport, I believe it's international, um, for 10 days, starting about three, four, I don't know, five days ago, when I was doing the washer box for that guy, uh, there's the, they're doing ops, uh, airplane ops over here and today when I was on my bike man two I think they were F-18s or whatever the newest plane is they came flying over my my neighborhood man and I thought to my they were in formation they were real close to each other and I thought man I wouldn't want them guys mad at me flying over my country you know what I'm saying them things were badass bro oh. Just makes a man proud, you know? When I was in the Navy, hooey! Got a fucking dog hair in my mouth. Uh, I hope. I was just fishing around in a toilet. Uh, anyways, when I was in the Navy, those, those uh, planes used to do flyovers right over the top of our ship, man. And I think the lowest the guy the other day said the lowest they can go is uh, three or five hundred feet. Let's see. Phillips Plumbing. Lost that one. I lost it. Yeah, so they used to come over my ship, man. 
and they'd have the afterburners going and you could just hear them things whistling man and it's it's a sight to see when they take when they're going that fast and they turn real sharp it's cool man all right let me find this lady's address guys all right guys so we've got an issue i think it's probably the washing machine is not working properly it's, i think she overloaded it yeah. Got there instead of being mm -hmm. And then I, somebody told me also a filter. I have no idea what the filter is. That's it. Yeah. Uh, but, um, it could be that, you know, I'll, no, no, don't worry, ma'am. I just want to make sure that this drain is not stopped up. Uh, but it was all, it, this was okay. The yeah. problem was that this was not draining. That's correct right. that's right so this is really an appliance uh problem but by yeah. unplugging this um you may have reset it you know oh and well no it was running it was i could hear it running and i could feel it running but it wouldn't work it wouldn't drain yeah like i put it on drain and spin mm-hmm and uh <laughs> I hadn't shut the water off, obviously, because I figured you'd have to turn it on. That locked it. Ooh, that does not sound good. Oh, I there it goes. It must have been set. That's what she said. Well, I did this yesterday, and it didn't... You want to plug it and plug it back in? I am plugged in. That does not sound good. Did it all, has it always it's, sounded like that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And, and you bought these brand new? How old are they? Seven. Seven years old? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you may have an issue with this. That does not sound good. Like, that pump does not sound good. Hear that? Yeah. This thing is broken. There's something with the transmission, it sounds like to me. This thing should not sound like that. Do you have uh, uh, any hearing issues? I have hearing aids in. Oh, okay. And they work very good because oh, yeah. this thing does not sound good. I don't know if you're hearing what I'm hearing. Yeah. This I thing is. Yeah, it's not right. I mean, I can give you the number of an appliance guy. This is not right. Same. All right, just, it'll, it'll unsnap in a minute. Yeah. This is like the pain of the Isn't royal a double -S. Yeah, yeah. Uh, All these modern uh, conveniences uh, are I so hate inconvenient. I hate this. My father worked for GE for 33 years as a really? salesman. Wow. Did he work and for Jack Welch? And we had Welch? everything. Oh, this is years ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, during the Depression, during oh, wow. the war. You yeah. know, not during the war. They transferred them over to Hanover to with fireworks, you know, the ammunition they built. He told us it was fireworks. Of course, we do. Now you well, can figure it's it out. Not, uh, some, you can't even Isn't get this in crazy? There. Yeah, you have to just... Just... Why don't you just leave your hand off of it yeah, and let it, let it, let it, it should it unlatch. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know what, if you need a new washing machine, um, I would recommend buying the simplest thing you can buy. None of, none of these bells and whistles and flashing lights yeah. like that. Just, we had, when I was a kid, we had a washing machine for 30 years, it seemed yeah, like. You exactly. Know? And it oh, was, it was a workhorse. for 15 years. My mother had 11 kids. That thing was like a laundry mat, and it worked and every day. And only one machine? Oh yeah. Oh my God! Everybody I knew had, had all those kids would buy two machines just in case. Good old you know? Irish Catholic family, you know, back in the now, day. Now isn't that the darndest thing? Now it won't even open. Let me see. Oh there. Okay. So Let it's me put dry, but I'm gonna tell you, I don't need to. We don't need to do anything else, ma'am. This thing is not right. It's broken. There's something. This is the way it always is. No, no, no. Oh. I'm, I'm just looking at that. Yeah, but what I'm right. saying is, 
what I'm hearing is like a transmission problem. Okay. And if it was overloaded, right, like I'm you said. I'm load in and have you take a look at my shower. I'll okay. Let me show let's, you. Uh, let's go look at the shower first, if you don't mind. All right. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, the shower head. Hang on for a minute, ma'am. I want to... I want to see how old this water heater is. That was 07. 07? Yes. Oh, 07. It's, oh. it's a 2007. That's old. Oh, I thought it was uh, 16. They, she told me she had it put in. No. This is the uh, realtor. She paid for it. She didn't put a water heater in. This manufacturing date is 2007. Wow. I could tell, I could tell just by looking at it that it's old. Is that why I'm getting it still all good? Even though I had a water, soft, water pure, what the hell is Yeah. Water spot put in. Right. You know, yeah, this anode rod in here is probably gone. Full of... No, yeah. it's just gone. It's not, so you're, you're lucky this isn't leaking yet. But I would say that, you know, you want to get this replaced as soon as possible because, you know, it's 10, 13, uh, 16 years old. Wow, I, I'm amazed. Yeah. I mean, why would she? Why would she say that? She said I had because that's you know next door. She was a realtor. It says right here, serial number 04 of 07. Wow. 04 of 07. So it was made in uh, January, February, March, April, April of 07, and it says manufacturing date. There's nothing. You know, wow. it's a 40 gallon. Uh, I would get it replaced before you wake up some morning and yeah. have water yeah. everywhere. I see that the drain, I believe that drain, I noticed it when I was, it was standing at the door. There's yeah. a drain for that pan out there, but this water heater yes. is filling this. That because one, um, I had it drained once. Yeah. And, and, but then I have roaches coming. Yeah, I saw you stuff and the so screen I, in there. I, I stuffed the screen in That's it. a very good idea. I thought, wow, look at that. And now they even have a little sun porch, the bugs. They can sit out the way it sits off the side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so listen, you might want to consider getting a new water heater. Yeah. And if that lady's still next door, say, um, what's... You, what do yeah. you mean you replace this water heater? It's 17 years old. Wow. So this is the heater, water, the shower gel, this shower gel. And what's the issue with that? It has, this, you can't get, water doesn't come through here. Okay. And I have done the crud cutter and bleach and water and vinegar and salt, or mm -hmm. vinegar and soda. Yeah, everything trying to get it clean. We've done every uh, home remedy there is. So let's uh, let's check out what's going on here. You know, ma'am, yeah. these things are cheap enough where I don't know how old this is. We put it in when we looked in, so it's seven, six and a half years. Yeah, I mean, these are cheap enough where you, you can probably get a replacement, but tearing these apart really? and trying to fix them is, right, can be... that's what I'll do. Yeah, it can be. I'll just, let me just take this off and see. Oh, I don't even know it could come off. I mean, you're getting water out of it. It's like the internal part of oh, this. Oh, maybe it's the black stuff inside there. Yeah. Unfortunately, they're really not. Let's see. Oh, I didn't know that had, that, that went down. That sounds better. It's working. Oh my, yeah. All you gotta do is push that black button. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Well, you know, luckily you... for you, that's on special today. It's only 800 bucks. 
Wow, and the black button. Is, well, now it's not it working work. again. Hey, oh. well, push oh. it in and let it out. Oh, for heaven's sake. Oh, perfect. Well, and then right. this, you can change the spray patterns. Yeah. And that turns it off, yeah. which is great. If you're sitting over there, you can turn it off and then turn it back on, yeah. okay? Yeah, now I have a sit. Even though I had a uh, surgical foot, I started, I borrowed the, uh, the seat. Uh-huh. It's too far away. Yeah. yeah. So um, what spray pattern would you like me to leave? Do you yeah, own? No, I like that. That's good. It's not That's too... plenty, plenty of hearts, so yeah. Okay. I'll take the... Uh, shampoo out of your hair fast. Yeah. That's See, it's, good. it's not working properly because it should, it doesn't do it every time. So you yeah. may have to pop, you know, push yep. it in and out a few times. Okay. I but it do does that. work. Yeah. Better than, better than nothing and, oh, and replacing absolutely. it. Absolutely. All right. Yeah, so we'll just leave it on the bottom. You don't yeah. Have to put it back. I yeah. can put it up there. Oh, can you? All right. Absolutely. Okay. I'm still a young fella, you know? Okay, yeah, I know. All right. That's why so, I love you. there you go. Yeah. You're all set. Oh, that's good. Did it, did it. Yeah. It's working. Oh, good. All right, so I'm going to give you the number of a, a very good appliance guy. Okay. And uh, you can yeah. tell him that I came by yeah. and that it really sounds bad. And he's going to tell you whether it's worth fixing or not because he knows these, these things by like no, the back of his hand. I don't think it's worth fixing. To be honest, the stuff is very expensive to fix. Especially if it's a transmission, I'm but try. you're gonna to try to do a load? Yeah, I'm gonna do a small load. Okay. Want me to push it back for you? Sure. This needs to be strapped, ma'am. I mean, this never pops out of there no. the way it no. is. Okay, yeah. we'll leave well enough alone. Then. Yeah, that's yeah, so, all. Yeah, push it all the way back if you can. I rock it. Oh. Oh, so Let me straighten out your dryer. Yeah, I have a pan back there to keep the dryer hose. From, because it might, you know, my daughter's a little rough. She's a visually handicapped. Oh, okay. And so she's rough. Yeah. You know, so I put that pan there, and that keeps me from. Now let me just kick that in. Keeps the hose closed in, so she doesn't knock it out. You're a tough one, lady. Oh. You're a tough one. 88 years old. Good for you. <laughs> I You're as young as you to, feel. Yeah, let me just see, but this probably... Hang on. Ah, there see, you go. Just clean it. Clean and it. you are... Uh, yeah. You're on top of your stuff. Yeah, I have Good to Good for be. you. Yeah. You, know, <laughs> you remind me of my mom. Let me straighten this out a little bit so okay. that at least yeah. square. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's... Let me get it square for you, oh, ma'am. I'll do not, it. Let me get that pin over there. Yep. Okay. Uh, Too yeah. far? No, it's all right. Well, let's, we can try it. It's nice jammed up against the wall. Beautiful. I was afraid to. Oh, do you have any solutions for this unfortunate apparition out here? Look what I have to do. I have to put the... You know, oh, jeez. Um, Unfortunately, because this is a villa... Yeah. And that's your neighbor's wall? Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, I, that was I just poor planning on them on their part. You oh, know? Yeah, real bad. I know. Yeah, I, that I, heats up your garage. Do you oh, uh, open the garage awful. door, crack yeah. it open on the bottom? Oh yeah. When you run the dryer? Yeah, we okay. keep it running all the time. We open all the time when we're running. Whoops, excuse me. I all right. Well up. Okay. We're all set. So what do I owe? Nothing. Oh thank you. God bless you. That's what I can tell you. Yeah, it's from solder, but I gotta get it checked and make sure it's not cancer. A bottle of sunblock. You put this on every morning. Yep. On your nose. Okay. 
and around your ears. Yeah, I got a little scab on my ears too. Yeah. Oh, you got to get rid of that stuff. Go to uh, have you I see your face is very clear. My mom had I've, a lot of skin cancer. I've had 700 spots, over 700 spots burned off. Wow. Since I'm 45, 47. Yeah, you were, my now mom was my 95. Leg? See that leg? Yeah. That's, it has cancer down to the bone. Really? And then I had to have radiation treatments, 30 radiation treatments. I'm a cancer yes. survivor. I had leukemia. Oh, you And did. I had a bone marrow transplant. Okay. All right. Now, So in we're the both survivors. Yep. Yeah. After shaving, yep. put this all over, including your forehead, oh, wow. your ears, and the around Back, your neck. Yeah, my left okay. forearm. No, don't waste it. Sit. Buy something cheap. And they, oh, but that's I see. a nice one for your face. It won't be greasy. Oh, great. Okay. All right, ma'am. Thank okay. you very well, much. Well, God bless you. you. Well, I'm well, out of here. It's well, Friday. I got I the day you off. I my uh, contact list years ago. Yeah. After I had a little conversation there. Yeah, yeah, I remember and talking I, yeah, to you. Yeah, and I remembered you. And All right, said, listen, I'm going to give you a price, $1,100. I can put a new water heater in for you. A hundred? No, $1,100. 1100 that's what I thought. Yeah, you couldn't yeah. get them for After 100 I bucks in 1923. Maybe I can do it next month. That's fine. Yeah. Just give me a call. All right. All right Save yeah. my number. You have a great weekend. Here's your, look it, ma'am. And what hey? Yes. Yeah. Don't forget, you gotta have it on your hands too. See all those white spots? Yeah. That's all where it was burned off. I know. I'm getting it too. Yeah. I've got and a lot of scars. Yeah. your hand is up here. The sun is a killer down here. I know it. Yeah. My mom, she she got all her damage when she was a kid. She sailed. She was sailing her boat all oh. over Rhode Island in the oh. you know the the bay Narragansett Bay. And uh, but anyways, this is your pan. Which is yeah. a good thing. See what I bought at the dollar store. They have those little I strings. I see a little strainer. I thought, wow, yeah, that's pretty strainer. ingenious. I saw it when I walked up, and I was like, that's uh, yeah. that's ingenious. And that this is what I was talking about, the little bug porch. Yeah. They could sit up there and get some sun from the, the, the uh, lights. All right, ma'am, yeah. enjoy right, your, your weekend. If you need anything, much. call me. I appreciate your help. You gotta take care of our Yankees, you know? Okay, thank you, thank you. Don't get that confused with the Yankees, guys. Alright. I'm done. I am off, man. It's 11.45, Jackson. That was nice of her. She reminded me of my mom, man educated you can tell she's smart she's a hard worker eighty five years old man she probably reads she probably reads books you know instead of sitting in front of a fucking TV all day getting your brain fed bullshit yeah hey guys that uh that water heater man 17 years old and the and the uh per, the lady who lives next door who is the realtor who sold her that place <laughs> 7 years ago told her she put a new water heater in for her huh. terrible man some of these people man i'm not sure What's up? But if she took advantage of that lady, that's terrible, man. Uh, she's got a ticking time bomb there. At least it's in a pan. It was filling that pan up pretty good. Um, which is going to be even tougher for a 40-gallon medium now. Because that pan was filling up that space. I can see that you can't put a bigger pan in there. So the only other option is to go with a tall heater that's going to make it skinnier and uh, get the thing. She's got plenty of headroom on the top where you could you could actually put the use the same pan and just put the new heater in on some couplings to give it a little more capacity. Look at old look at that flag blowing. It's a beautiful day down here, man. Wow, this tree looks like it died. 
they better get that down that's a big old tree uh anyways maybe i'll get a water heater out of this job this woman uh and hopefully eliminate a, a possible disaster for her and i can make a couple bucks not a whole lot but enough um cpvc water pipe you can see it's been it's been re-piped and uh it should be easy man i want to tell you it's funny man i yesterday i went to the store i got i came out and i locked my keys in the truck and immediately the people who were in the car next to me came up and I, of course, me being uh, the jib jabber that I am, I started talking to them and they lived over here uh, on Pasadena, which is right, I just drove by it close to my house. The guy said, hey, I'll give you a ride home so you can pick up your, your extra key and I said, that's fine. I said, I can just ride my bike back. And the guy, he said, no, no, no. I'll drive you back to the store. So I, he drove me home. And I was telling him that I do work for a woman on uh, Pasadena Court. And uh, she called me this morning. <laughs> it's weird how stuff works out, man. It really is. It just baffles the mind sometimes. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me, man. Have a great weekend. Uh, it's Juneteenth, man. Look into that. See what it actually is, what it means for you people who don't know. Have a good one.